Hello there ladies and gentlemen, my name is Roboy94 and welcome to another episode of Roy's Replays r and I hope you take a rest and relax a bit while I show you these wonderful replays. Now this first replay is from the Dutch Ranger again. He sent me a couple of replays and I was happy to put them on my YouTube for, you know, some diversity because only seeing me play can be maybe, you know, a bit uh, boring. I mean, not that I mainly play in a boring way, but you know, seeing different people play in different ways can maybe show some different kind of ways to play this game. So I'm happy to show you how other people play. And here, the Dutch Ranger get, gets pit maneuvered by an Object 704 and his team, but whatever. So, like I said uh, one time, uh, the Dutch Ranger likes his uh, American tanks, mainly mediums. And here he is driving in the T-54E1. Now this is one deadly medium tank. This is one of the few tier 9 tanks I'm still very scared of when I'm in a tier 8 or 9 tank myself. Because it has a deadly, deadly autoloader gun. And yeah, I've fallen victim a lot of times to this beast. Now we are on Windstorm. And the Dutch Ranger goes to the city over here and he sees a Tiger 1, which is a super easy target. It's just, I don't even know what that Tiger is doing over there. And the Act Panther, another tier 7. And an Indian Panzer. Okay, so there's one tier 8 over there, but basically the Act Panther is just a sitting duck. I mean, come on. Okay, so one shot does not do any damage and he gets a hit in from the Act Panther. And there the Tiger P finishes off the Yak Panther, however the Dutch Ranger gets away with the damage even though he did not manage to use every single shell in his clip. Now our, the Allied IS-6 is on the attack already, he's gone forward pretty fast while the Dutch Ranger is reloading here. The Tiger P on the back is supporting uh, with sniper fire. The Tiger P is... I guess a decent capable tank of doing that when bottom tier because it has that 200 millimeters of armor. There's a Tiger 1, yeah that's just... Wow, I'm I'm actually shocked this IS-6 is dying be against a freaking Tiger and the... Wow. But he's so showing his side so that IS-6 was just not being very smart. And the Dutch Ranger is laying back trying to snipe it a bit even though well this tank has decent armor trollish at best I guess well not not I think more than trollish it has you know above average trollish armor I think it can bounce a decent amount of shots but it has these easy weak spots you just need to aim at like the top of the turret uh, and well the lower front plate I guess I don't know that much about the armor of this thing, but I do know that every now and then I bounce on it. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, the 9.7 version of World of Tanks, so now we are on 9.10. I have no idea what this Indian Panzer was doing. He was he caught one shot and then he goes back up front, like in front of an autoloader. People are really stupid at times. Oh. Wow, whoa, 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 whoa. You had aim there. Why did you why did did you aim away? Oh, so now he gets hit by a Loa and this SU is blocking him a bit. Not a good move, SU. And there's a tank over there. Why are you going to the other side? It's not very safe, but whatever. So far the teams are being pretty equal right now. However, there is an there are some deadly tanks coming in from the north. Uh the Ranger is trying to find a way around while he is reloading his clip. He'd better not f encounter an enemy around the corner or else he'll be uh, screwed. No. I think he's gonna plan attacking on the AMX 30. Will he do that? And will he have enough damage in his clip to finish him off? Because, to be, to be honest, I don't know the actual clip damage of this tank. But, oh, there's the E75 that backs off. Yeah, that's just the E75 wasted. And 
he shoots one into the MX-30 and he gets destroyed by the SU-101. That's a good save or else the Dutch Ranger would have had a problem while on reload. But he still does have his repair kit, so if the AMX would have started shooting at the Dutch Ranger, then he would probably would have repaired his tracks and gone into cover. So far, those deadly tanks, uh, two tier 9 tanks, taken out, so that's uh, very good for his team. There's the lower, oh yeah, he's just, oh yeah, just right on time as he was reloaded. He can easily take a shot from the lower, and there he kills him. That's four kills in the bag. Now that's what you want to happen in the autoloader. Just find those juicy big HP targets that are not focused on you and just get them in the rear, you know? Uh, and one at a time as well. So people will not focus you. You can outgun any tank, but as long as you can kill uh, that tank. Now obviously the Dutch Ranger is not engaging this AMX AC-46 yet because he was on reload but now he is loaded and he's trying to wait for him to come around the corner. I would have almost shot there expecting him to come around but nope he stays, uh, he does not fire yet because the AMX is on, uh, was standing still, did not come around the corner. Now the SU-101 is going head on into the attack at the AC-46 and the Dutch Ranger is of course like a medium tank should do flanking him from the rear getting a little kill seal over here as the SU-101 was distracting him right in the front but hey a kill is a kill shooting anything that has HP is good as m even though as if it if it if it has one HP left, you should always shoot. Even if you have like, well, it's a hard choice because if you have a high alpha, then you mostly don't want to shoot low HP tanks. But sometimes you just need to shoot because the kill is more important than the damage. Because a gun less on the battlefield on the enemy team can make the difference of winning and losing. Oh, now the Dutch Ranger gets spot here and he gets a shot in from the Rheumatol. Uh, he has the long gun, so he will probably reload pretty fast and shoot again if he stays spotted over here. And the Dutch Ranger is pinging at A8 because the Rheumatol is probably sniping over there. Yeah, and he even sh says in the chat that there's a Rheumatol. Uh, and yeah, that's indeed his last known location, so he most likely is sniping over there. Now, of course, the Dutch Ranger does not want to take many hits because there are only, well, there's a, a one other T-54E1 left and three tank destroyers, uh, which of two have very deadly guns. Well, the 122-44 has a good gun as well with 390 alpha, but it's not as dangerous for tier 9 as the uh, other two guns. But there's a T-54E1 spotted and he manages to get his sixth skill, including a top gun. And oh, here's a Verdant. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, he's lucky the Verdant isn't aiming at him, but he does not have any sure way to pen him. Yeah, that's, oh, uh, yeah, that's a big hit from the Verdant. That was, uh, you know, it was something, uh, he, he could not bear, he couldn't do anything really because the Verdant's front is very thick and you need a lot of pen to actually penetrate him up front unless you have aim at the lower front plate but he did not have aim at that so yeah that was some bad luck over there I mean the Verdant was in a very good uh, position to hide his lower front plate which was pretty much his only weak spot except for maybe some viewports that are on the front but you'd have to be very lucky to hit those Now with still three shells left in the clip, Dutch Ranger is going to end the attack, but the Verdant gets killed. Now the only question is, where's the Rheumatol? Um, will they find him? Well, I'm pretty sure they will, because they are still with five tanks. Yes, there's the Rheumatol. Oh, yeah, and the SU-101 just finishes him off. And that's just the end of the battle, and greatly played. Uh, with a uh, good outloader tactic to, you know, fi find your one-on-one -on -one matches 
and not trying to get yourself uh, outgunned just whenever you're on, on the reload you're the most vulnerable and you need to avoid that always make sure to either kill an enemy when you finish your clip or be able to retreat when you finish your clip on a tank otherwise you'll be stuck with an enemy in front of your face while you are reloading and that's when bad things start to happen without loaders. good game Now this is the second replay and here I am in my T-54 lovely 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 tank oh yeah it's probably my favorite medium tank or maybe favorite tank ever this replay isn't very special when it comes to the end results I mean I think I was second place or something and you know that was it's pretty normal for me my T-54 to get in the top three of my team but there is something special about this team itself I think this team managed to get a very good rush together with me on the hill which is something I deeply respect when I encounter these rare uh, places uh, rare moments uh, where the team actually works together and pulls off a good rush now, I don't know what that I'm at all is talking about hill noobs or something like should like watch the hill noobs or like everyone that's going hill or noobs I have no idea but whatever it's a tier 9 match and I'm leading the way in my T54 I think that it, this was uh, me while grinding for my object 140 which I have now and uh, I still have the T54 because it's a lovely tank now here I of course see another T54 and yeah, I'm not gonna try wasting to uh, start shooting at him. I'm gonna wait for support like the CDC. Yeah, the CDC is the one that gets top XP as far as I remember. So he gets in the rear of this T54. Now I see a Centurion. I try to shoot, but I bounce. Obviously, yeah, it's the Centurion turret. Now look at this. Oh my god. These guys are rushing in so fast that I didn't even have time to go with them. I mean, like, barely. Like, holy shit. T-54 is just getting bum rushed. Look at this. I got one shot in him, and before I'm even reloaded, he's just killed. Obviously, because the Amex 5100 has an auto loader. But look at this. Look at this. <laughs> and even the T-54 admits he got raped. But look at this. All these tanks are now standing over here, you know. And someone needs to uh, go down here and take the first hits. But yeah, that's pretty hard what's gonna happen here because everyone is like uh, yeah what should we do and I'm li like waiting wait for f f for uh, the T54 E1 to reload this clip because he was telling us he was loading but the Yak Panther catches a shot now and the Verdant goes up the front with his armor and now it's our time to strike just look at this T54 T34 got shot here I take a hit I shoot one in the Centurion, the rest backs off, which is not smart, because we just obliterate this. That's not very smart of me to go stand here, because now I take an unnecessary shot from the IS-6. So now I sadly enough need to back up a bit, this IS-3 is not giving me the space to shoot, but uh, whatever, he was at least taking the hits for me. And I tracked this IS-6 here, because it was the only place I could really shoot at, sadly enough. I mean we are just like bum rushing this hill and here I have aim at his roof but sadly enough my shot just goes to the bottom left hitting his turret cheek obvious bounce now just this rush is just wow I mean I could barely do anything yet I still am at the second place in the team weirdly enough while I feel pretty well not pretty useless but you know I mean, we were all wrecking here. Now I shoot this T-34 on fire. He extinguishes. And he gets killed before I can even get another yeah. shot in. And that's just the kind of epic teamwork uh, you like to see in this game. Here's the Tiger 2. I sh also shoot him on fire. That's two tanks in a row shot on fire. That's unbelievable. And I, I'm not sure if I had uh, that eye on this crew, but whatever. I6 goes around the corner and I just 
do not have the uh, I cannot hit him now the CDC here our mo top XP player in this match is standing over here of course he cannot wow he actually manages to shoot in the T-54 E1 and take another shot and here I actually bounce a shot from the E1 and I'm trying to lure a shot on my uh, upper plate and I actually manage to bounce another one but then he pens me sadly enough I get killed but it still was a very very great team excellent even the Verdant says excellent team thank you guys and I agree this was a great great team just an excellent rush on the hill and yeah here myself good rush very happy to <coughs> <coughs> excuse me <coughs> to see something like that happen for a change and yeah I have uh, my greatest respects for that kind of uh, stuff so yeah good game and uh, I hope to see these kind of rushes more often on my side of the team of course I often have them on the enemy team but yeah then I get bummered myself and yeah, that's a less fun experience don't we all agree now sadly enough this is going to be the last replay of this video because I actually had two other replays planned one of Adlit in his Object 704 and one of myself in my A45, the new British premium tank. However, uh, those replays were from version 9.9 .9 and apparently for some weird reason I cannot uh, play my replays anymore. I used to be able to just by creating a shortcut because there were some bugs already in that version. But now for some other apparent reason I cannot even open my replays by using a shortcut of the game. But whatever, I just got another random replay of a great match I had, which is in my lovely T-54 first prototype, which is a you know, decently new Russian premium medium tank, which has very great armor. A bit lacking mobility, but uh, I can live with that because I'm a very aggressive medium player so I can live uh, with decent uh, or I mean lacking mobility just to get uh, just to get uh, the great armor so I can play very aggressive and that's something this tank does so yeah it has a great hull armor and a decent turret so here I crawl up the hill into the attack because I'm top tier and I have that great armor I can rely on. So there's the VK, he actually pens me on the first shot which surprises me a lot since you know I know this thing has just the greatest armor. Well not the greatest but it has super great armor. So try to, to go again and I bounce one time on this VK now there are gonna be a lot of bounces on this match sadly enough that was one bounce now I pen him with the second shot and just look at the amount of bounces I get from the enemies now I bounce a second time on the VK has a very strong turret then I pen the T-34-85 now there's four tanks over here but they're all lower tiers so I'm not afraid with my armor now here I actually get a critical hit on the T-34-85 damaging an internal module or crew member you can see it in the after battle results now I bounce on the Type 58 so it's just weird like the amount of random bounces it's just the RNG in this match now I bounce on the T-34 3485 again and now I kill him off because I'm like I need to concentrate on the low HP targets and I am afraid to get RT'd here because there is a Crusader SP in their team now here I had hit the cupola from the of the VK I go again and I just know if I hit that gun mantlet I'm probably gonna bounce but I still managed to pen not sure where I hit but I did hit and pen now I get hit in my fuel tank and I just Double try kill. to take out that VK anyway. Now I go for the T25 too because he is a TD and probably has the highest pen. And 
there I go, I just kill him with the support of the T-44 even though uh, there were other tanks behind me supporting me but I have no idea what they were basically doing maybe they were supporting me, I wasn't paying attention to them but this is basically, you know as you can see, me mostly playing against lower tiers it's pretty unfair when you think about it and it's weird that artillery wasn't shooting at me at all this panther shot an APCR shell at me but did not pen but he does not have the best gun so yeah but as you can see this is you know I was lucky to just encounter lower tiers because if I would encountered a lower or an Indian panzer I would have had uh, less luck I guess However, here I do see a T28 prototype, but he just manages to turn around with his front towards me. And this is going to be pretty funny because he bounces on me, and do keep in mind he has a strong gun with uh, 258. Pa no wait, uh, no wait, he doesn't have the top gun. Never mind. So that's the reason he actually bounces on me, and I just shoot him through the turret cheek with an APCR shell because I had no other uh, choice than to shoot him because that was the only weak spot I had aim on and I have two AP shells left and I have no idea why I'm oh yeah yeah <laughs> I remember I was waiting for the kill still yeah that's how much of a bastard I am yeah I do admit that I was waiting for that kill because I was like, well, five kills. I was getting greedy on those kills, and I just wanted that Top Gun. So yeah, I do admit I was waiting for that Pershing to get low HP so I could steal the kill. Uh yeah, this wasn't like that special a match. I mean, I just had like this low tier tanks against me: a T34, 85, VK. Tier 6, that's another tier 6. T25 2, that's tier 7. Though he has lacking pen for a tier 7 TD. So yeah, then the Panther with the not even the upgraded gun. So again, very easy. Then the T28 prototype, which also did not have the best gun. He had uh, the uh, 90mm, as you can see here. 90mm gun. And... A Pershing, like, you know, this is just, it's a good game, but luck was on my side. I was only seeing these low-tier tanks. And if you encounter low-tier tanks with this thing and not encounter any higher tanks, then you're most likely going to get a top gun. So, yeah, I'm not, it's not very, I'm not very super proud of this match or something, but it's just the only replay I could have. I had left to basically show you that uh, I did not have reserved for any other video basically and just to make this video not too short so yeah this was the only replay I had left and it sucks that uh, I couldn't uh, get to play the replays of version 9.9 .9 because for that version I actually have a lot of replays but Sadly enough, I cannot play a single one of them for some odd reason. But there will be coming replays of uh, some other tanks, which will be from a different video series. But yeah, they will be coming in the near future. Plus uh, all the other replays that I might be getting in the version of 9.10 that's out now with the Japanese heavies. So I hope you will enjoy that and I hope you at least enjoyed this video and maybe even enjoyed this last battle uh, even though it wasn't very impressive. It was just me butchering a few lower tier tanks and stock tanks while just making use of my armor and stealing a top gun <laughs> because yeah I won that medal. <laughs> uh, thank you for watching and uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Goodbye.